Everybody wants to look at cannabis as, as another medicine. And we have to remember though that most medicines are one ingredient. Cannabis is not one ingredient. If you take aspirin, you're getting salicylic acid. We know what that does, we know what it is. But when you're using cannabis, you're getting 400 different compounds that are interacting and playing differently in your system. Most people, it's trial and error, it's experimentation. And there has to be a comfort level with that because that is what it is. There's no one answer. So we can say Charlotte's Web, and you know, there's a lot of hype. It, it's an excellent strain, but only if it works for you. Sometimes you have to try 10 different things to be able to find what will work. I'll be the first to admit, we need more research. We need to get it off a of Schedule One drug so we can get the research done. So that I can tell a parent, well, it looks like there is no long-term damage. But you can't do studies long-term if you're not allowed to do studies at all. I always thought I was invincible. You know, I always thought that this would never happen to me. And the fact is, is that no one is invincible. This disease knows no bounds. I had natural birth and she came out perfect. She was absolutely stunning, like literally was ready for a Pampers commercial. It was when she was eight and a half months old. It was, you know, I remember the day like it was yesterday. Sophie's little eyeball started to shake. And that Friday, we were in at 6 a.m. to get an MRI. And life was exactly what I had envisioned it. And then the phone rang. It was that pivotal moment that changed the course of my life forever and my family's. She has what's called an optic pathway glioma brain tumor. And I remember asking the doctor, I was like, what is this? You think of brain tumor and you immediately think death. And I was like, well, what do we do? I mean, how do we treat this? And he goes, well, there's only really one method of treatment because Sophie is so young and that's chemotherapy. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay honey. And best case scenario, we would see some minimal shrinkage. 13 months of chemotherapy being pumped into my kid and that's all we got? She was gonna have to live with this mass in her brain for the rest of her life. And all I did was research and research and research because I just could not wrap my head around the fact that there weren't more options for my child. At this point, literally like 20 people had told us about cannabis oil, but they were all from overseas and they kept saying, you guys should look into this, you should look into this. And I, the first thought I was like, there is absolutely no way I'm giving my child weed. So we talked to our doctor and he was like, listen, I don't know anything about it, but if you guys have done the research, you guys go and do what you need to do. So we got started on the oils and Sophie did fantastic. She was sleepy, which is the only side effect that she had from it because, you know, there's, there is some psychoactivity, the THC, but she did phenomenal. She's a little tank. I mean, that child. I swear, she must have been like a Navy SEAL in her past life because she, it, she's, I mean, the kid's bulletproof. We worked her up only to a tenth of a gram because there's so much unknown about dosing. Um, Janine, I may change it. I've got, a, I've got a couple more specialists I need to talk to. We may go to four times a day THC and four times a day CBD. So you're gonna okay. do THC, 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 and then 30 minutes later, you're gonna do CBD, 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 CBD. Oh, okay. Every dose. Ooh, go to Miss Laura. Every single scan, it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and there was more and more and more necrosis, which is not Girl. characteristic oh, at oh, all this? for these tumors. Duck says, quack, quack, quack. She stopped chemo quack, in November, quack, quack. on November the 20th of 2014. And now, you know, we have found ourselves in another predicament, unfortunately. Because like today's, you know, this is, this is going to kind of determine everything. The kind of tumors that Sophie have are like 65 to 70 percent relapse rate. So, um, fingers crossed. Uh, hey, Kara. When we got her first scan post-treatment, there was these tiny little spots. In an area where there used to be absolutely nothing. We have made the conscious decision because of what we feel is best for our child to start chemotherapy again. Yeah, just I wonder that. 
<laughs> it's one of those things where it's super frustrating because it's it's parents like myself and my husband that our kids have to be the guinea pigs. We're the ones that have to try all these different approaches and try different strains and try different extraction processes and see what works because the government won't legalize it so that we can do federally funded trials. Oh God, she's so big and strong. And now we're in the throes of it. We are on the cutting edge of changing medical history and to think about what this means for my daughter and for her daughter and, and her son and for their kids, it's really incredible. No matter what she does with her life, no matter who she becomes, the, my, my greatest yeah. achievement has been creating that little, that little person. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. She's just amazing. Yeah. I'm still smiling. I haven't lost hope. And we've had a setback, but by no means is this the end of her story. Bad things happen, so do good things. And I, and I, and I truly believe in my heart of hearts that we won't have to go through this anymore. I think she's going to be just fine.